The U.S. Air Arena has been a consistent moneymaker for the county since 1973. Now the focus shifts to the new Redskin Stadium just across the Beltway. Dennis Murphy, president of the county's Economic Development Corporation, has watched construction of that stadium from a front row seat in his Landover office. While he's excited by the arrival of the Skins, Murphy is quick to point out that the county's two minor league teams, the hockey team that is set to begin play at Upper Marlboro Showplace Arena and baseball's Bowie Bay Sox, already in business here at Prince George's Stadium, make a much different but valuable contribution to the economics of the county. I think they're very significant um, from the standpoint of an entertainment venue, very family-oriented entertainment. Everyone here pretty much is playing baseball or starting to play baseball, and we thought this would be a great way to have a lot of fun. Play ball! Judy and Chris Chieris decided to celebrate their nine-year-old son Tim's birthday with a day at the ballpark. Because kids with shirts from their own sports teams get in for nothing, it's a very inexpensive way to bring seven children to a game. For the youngsters, this is a chance to get a really close-up look at baseball. Seating is casual on a day like this beautiful Sunday, and a ball player or two is always available before the game to sign autographs. Today it's young pitcher Rocco Cafaro. plenty of room at the park for the youngsters and some not so young to spread out. The Chieras' do go to Oriole Park once in a while, but having the minor league Bay Sox available makes for a lot more family outings. We come here a lot more, it's a lot more affordable. Uh -huh. A lot more affordable and, and, and convenient for us. We live right here in PG County, it's a great thing to do.